Hey guys, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my art resource that is perfect and essential for teaching value and shading with your students. It is a shading booklet and so it's gonna take them through a ton of different worksheet templates that is going to give them uh, opportunities for practicing shading, whether it's just with blending, cross hatching, hatching, stippling, scribbling, you name it. It's going to show them how to shade with light sources on different objects. So instead of me continuing to talk about it, let's just take a look at some of the pages that are included and then I'll show you a screen flip through of the resource. So let's head on in there. Alright, so these are just some of the pages um, in the value booklet. So there's just an example page. Really it's just uh, just so you can show kids what shaded in work looks like from one of the pages in this booklet. But these are again just some of the pages you're going to find in the resource. So this is one of those essential must-haves in your classroom. Tons of pages on shading and this is just a selection for the full video preview, make sure you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teachers store, find the shading resource, and um, when you click on it, you're now gonna be able to see a video preview, and I'm gonna simply scroll through the full PDF on a video so you can see exactly what pages will be included. Okay, so we'll talk about shading. Um, you'll, kids will be creating value scales with blending, hatching, and stippling. Uh, this is like the one that you saw on that very first page. This is their actual worksheet where they're going to be creating light source, light on spheres, um, shapes and shading, and just using value and shading to create texture on bark. They can shade in shapes, shading and blending, creating shadows on a still life. They will be practicing their shading techniques on cubes using stippling, scribbling, cross hatching, hatching and blending. And then they can practice filling in the shapes below. Again, the light source is over here. So thinking about how the light is hitting the shapes and then how the shadows are going to be cast on them. There's also different examples of lines, so cross hatching and hatching, how it could be used and used differently, and same with, same with stippling as well. Um, there's resources in this booklet for shading with line on, you know, again, a still life, but this time we're using line to shade. There is advanced shading worksheets where it gives an example and then they have to create it below. Same with this fern leaf. Again, just using value and shading to create it. And so many more pages. This is a really great booklet to have with must have resources. Again, there's way more in the actual booklet than there is, than there is here. So I highly recommend you check it out. It is a fabulous resource for teaching shading in your classroom. So check it out, Mizertastic on Teachers Pay Teachers. You can find that link in the description below. All right, so now that we flipped through just a sample of the actual resource, we're going to now take a scroll through the full video preview so you can see every page that is included in this resource and you'll see why it's both something that is essential to have for you in your classroom as part of your teaching, but also you can use it for your uh, sub tub, you can use it as emergency sub plans, you can, if you're an art sub, you can have that, and it also is a great resource to use if you're art on a cart, or if you're making remote learning booklets, you can just simply photocopy the whole booklet and send it home and do a tangs, and boom, you are done prepping for a while. So let's go ahead and scroll through the whole resource and check out all the pages that are included.
helped you kind of just see how that resource might be beneficial for teaching in your classroom. Again, it's perfect as an essential for your teaching. It's perfect for art on a cart. Um, and again, you can find it in my Teachers Pay Teacher store, link in the description of this video. Or if you're a member of the Artastic Collective, which is my membership for art teachers, again, link for that also is in the description of this video. It is part of the themes bundle in the essentials bundle. So check it out, 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 out and you can find it there. So again, check it out. It's essential for your classroom and is a great way to teach shading with your students. Let's make some art.